I just punched myself in the face with this. Which is like a metaphor for when I read it. Have you guys seen the latest IKEA catalog in Canada? It's insane. So, some of these picks are like artistic expressions, adventures, coloristic choices, and I get that. But some of them are crazy. And I want to show you some of them. A big thing in IKEA 2018, I guess it's for 2019, is like frames with no picture in them. And I don't know if I hate that or absolutely love that. First off, this woman stacking pillows on her head. That's super impractical. This is the best one, one of them. Gosh, we go to page 49, how did I even miss this? What's this? There's a loose peacock in that home. You don't want a loose peacock in that home. Those are terrifying birds. When they spread out their feathers and they got all the eyes on them. No thank you. And please don't be on the couch. You're gonna track all sorts of like squat and guano over that. I know guano's bad poo. And then if we just like go up a bit, what's with this like bird's nest just hanging out? Clearly a fake bird. The peacock is definitely real. You turn the page. Honestly, at page 48 and onwards, I think that's when they're like, let's just get crazy. We enter this, like, serial killer's home, or maybe a detective who's tracking a serial killer. This, like, drawing of a, the saddest boy in the world, and then some, like, passages that are just, like, taped to the wall. What does it mean? What are those words? Why put this, the kid with three hairs in between them? It reminds me of the snowman. He calls himself the snowman killer. That was not a good movie. I feel bad for Fazbender. He's completely insane. Again, yet the very next page, this man, who's sure he's having a, a wonderful nap after falling asleep reading books. You're reading too many books. Look, there's got to be some sort of bookshelf in this IKEA catalog. You need to invest in one. You can't just be throwing them willy-nilly on the ground. Just a kitten looking at a lamp. I actually think it's adorable. IKEA, if you want to sponsor this, by the way, I'd be more than happy to display things in my home. This is just a weird page because someone's, like, littered. That's either Kleenex or paper, and that's where I think in, like, on the set day, they're like, do we get the shot? And the guy's like, yeah, 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 I took a lot of snaps, we're good, let's just move on to the next set. And then afterwards they're like, oh shit, we left just loose papers on the ground. I even had a cold that day, it was just dropping Kleenex everywhere. This may just be your style, but that's a lot. There's a lot going on in this. I mean, you shouldn't display some sort of mini tuba like that. And again, we have these like empty frame, and then someone tried to display pictures, but half in the frame, half not. That's impractical. But then, page 100. What's going on? Someone has hung, I'm gonna say a man, but it could be anyone, could be anyone. They've hung a frame from a rope. And there's like a noose-like quality to this rope, but it's just concerning. Then they have another frame, sure, and then a bunch of like city maps just displayed on the wall. And it just feels very true detective. Where's the Yellow King? They've got a collection of stamps. Uh, some sort of old-timey bag that a doctor would use, maybe a plague doctor. And then you see something in the corner and you're like, what's that? What's that curious thing? Next page they show you, that's a magician's hat. Next page they're showing a bookshelf, he's hung some sort of weird broom in a tiny child's badminton racket, I assume. Who is this person? But like, there has to be a story. You don't just throw all that stuff together and not be like, I got a story. Unless they just have an overflowing, like, tickle trunk of costumes and props and they're like, yeah, I don't know. I hang another three frames. Again, we're hanging frames. Should I do this? Should I hang some frames? There's almost 300 pages of this book, and we're only 100 in. I'm exhausted already. Soap optional. Soap's not optional. There's many signs that tell your workers that soap is mandatory. You cannot leave that bathroom without washing your hands. So, no, no. 
that's too many. In case you're wondering, freezer safe if it gets that far. I assume that's ice cream. I truly don't know. I'd be embarrassed if it wasn't. But why are you scooping ice cream to put in a container? I guess that's not ice cream. What could it be? You gotta think they know how crazy it is. And they're just kind of like screwing with you. Like for example, I get it. That's an artistic choice to have that much yellow and to have this woman wearing yellow gloves. But is she an architect? Is she not an architect? Is she an archaeologist? Where is she? I think there's paint. There is. Those aren't gloves. That's just paint dripping from her hands. These are like Roman and there's a, a pharaoh of some kind. There's all sorts of like even older reliefs and masks and I assume I assume a lot of those are horcruxes and some sort of lich king's trapped his soul in many of those and now that we've uncovered them and Ikea's displaying them that the end is nigh. He's got like a, a rack with hooks, and I think one's an apron, and then one's just like scissors from, I assume, the 17th century. And then like our two rocks on top. Again, it just feels a little like, we don't know what to do with this photo to display this item. I don't know, grab four things out of that prop closet and bring them over. What if they're two rocks? Well, do they look different? Yeah, then put them on the rack and stop asking questions. Guys, that was Ikea 2019. I hope we all learned something. The number one lesson I think you should have learned from this is you have to wash your hands when you use the bathroom. There's no discussion. And also they got some great products, but dang, do they got some kooky photographers and layout people. Can't wait for 2020. Can't wait.